5th of September in 1977 that the funeral of uh, the late Steve Abantubiko actually took place in King Williamstown and that's the reason why the national uh, celebration and commemoration of Human Rights Day is taking place at the Victoria Sports Ground. That is where Paletta finds herself this morning. Good morning once again Paletta. I believe you've got an important guest with you. Valen, uh, yes, indeed, it's a very good morning to you once again. Of course, I am with the Minister of Arts and Culture, eh, Natim Tetra, as our viewers would recall that we're still here uh, to celebrate, Minister, to commemorate. Uh, I'll ask you which is the, the exact word to, uh, the word to use for, for, for today. But of course, we, we're here for the National uh, Human Rights Day. Uh, President Jacob Zuma later on will be delivering his keynote address at this very same venue. And I know that he's, he should be at the graveside in Kingsburg, uh, where uh, Steve Biko has been laid to rest. So we are going to be crossing to our reporter in that area for the latest happening in relation to that. But as to, you know, just to get a perspective on, on the day, of course, and uh, how far South Africa has come, like I said, I'm joined by the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Teto. Minister Salbona, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Uh, morning, Palisa and Dumele. And Thank you so much. Nice suit, Minister. I see that you're well represented today. It's, it's a beautiful suit indeed. But uh, the day, Human Rights Day, uh, talk to us about the significance of this day. Well, um, uh, Human Rights Day 2017 is uh, very significant um, on two grounds uh, today. As we both celebrate and commemorate, we commemorate the fact that we come from a past, a very dark past, and, and we celebrate the fact that South Africa today is a human rights cultured nation. Um, we still have a long way to go. All the basics, all the foundations are there from the constitution and so on. Um, its significance today uh, is that um, it's the year which has been declared uh, as the year of O.R. Tambo. Um, and under the theme today, uh, unity in action and advancing uh, human rights. Very important because uh, O.R. Tambo himself was uh, one of the leaders who fought so hard for human rights. It was a struggle for liberation itself, was a struggle for human rights, uh, for equality amongst people and so on. Um, at the same time, we are here uh, in, in, in Eastern Cape, in King Williamstown, uh, particularly Ginsberg, where one of the martyrs of uh, the struggle, uh, uh, Stephen Bantubigo, was born. And it, it uh, was very uh, significant for uh, us as government to come here to commemorate in remembering Steve Bigo, how he died, the violation, gross violation of human rights has to be highlighted. It is also a day where, as you said, in Sharpville, uh, they are commemorating this day, uh, this fateful day uh, where uh, people were mowed down, unarmed uh, by the apartheid state, um, sponsored and, 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 and directed by, by the state itself. So therefore, it's, it's, it's uh, quite important that um, all of us as South Africans, as we move forward with the institutions uh, supporting our democracy, like Human Rights uh, Commission and so on, we should not forget where we come from. As we map the way forward, it's important that we, we, we keep our eye on the ball in moving society forward. Um, you've uh, mentioned an important issue, Minister of uh, Chaville, of course. We know that about 69 people lost their lives and over 108 were also injured. Uh, the people from Chaville, Abantu Basse Chaville Bati, uh, the day should be named after Chaville because that, that is actually where the day comes from. People were murdered, brutally so. Mm. Well, uh, you would know that has been the, the situation since the day was... Uh, uh, pronounced as Human Rights Day. What we need to say is that the people of Sharpville were not fighting for a Bantustan called Sharpville. Whatever contribution they were making against the violations of human rights, like any other people elsewhere in the world, not only on the 21st of March, 
But throughout the history of liberation, they were fighting for a South Africa, a free South Africa, a South Africa which uh, respect human rights. So therefore, um, they should take it in their honor that uh, their contribution was the contribution for the whole of South Africa. Hence, uh, the day itself is a national day. Uh, you would have imagined that you have a, a provincial, a regional or local day. It can't be. It's a national day because it has international significance. So therefore, people of Shabvit should find solace to the fact that their contribution um, did not go unnoticed. Uh, elsewhere outside of Sharpeville. All right. Now, Minister, let's talk about the challenges, of course, that are still facing South Africa. You you mentioned earlier on that, you know, there is still a long way to go, but uh, South Africa has made strides in terms of the protection of human rights. But issues such as racism, I mean, I mentioned this one specifically because today is also the um, United Nations International Day uh, for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. That is still a thorny issue in South Africa. Uh, black people people's rights are being violated by racism. Absolutely. Uh, <clears throat> what we have experienced in the past 20 years is um, racism without racists. Uh, uh, nobody owning up uh, to racism. Uh, but the question is, what happened to the people who popped up a system for half a century? Did they just disappear or what have you? Uh, no, they didn't. Uh, some of them were, were de-educated by the march of history and re-educated to the new ethos of a society we are building. But others are still there. And therefore, we should, um, in, our approach, in our approach, understand that we are dealing with a, a, a pernicious ideology, not just an incident or incidents as we see them, what we need to do is to focus on what is it that we stand for than what we are against. And then when we do that, from time to time, those which we are against, racist amongst us, we, we need to raise our voice. We do not have to be tolerant of racism and racist in our midst. We need a society to mobilize against that, against all discrimination. You know, we fought racism in this country and defeated uh, the captains of racism, the architects of apartheid, but we still have challenges which we need to uh, fight together. Right, Minister, there's so much, you know, uh, to talk about, but I'm afraid due to time constraints, I'm going to have to release you. I know that you'll be chatting to my colleagues later on. Thank you so much for coming through. My pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. There you have it. That's the Minister of Arts and Culture, Natim Teto, talking to us about the significance of uh, today, of course, and how far South Africa has come in terms of uh, the protection of human rights. But like we said, of course, uh, the day also dates back to 1960 when about 89 people uh, were killed, brutally so, and about 180 of them, uh, you know, were, were, were also injured. There is an activity or a program taking place in Shabville in Gauteng, and that is where uh, that is where our reporter Gillian Pillay is standing by for the latest happening. We do know that later on in the day the Premier of Houghton, David Makura, will deliver his keynote address for the provincial event taking place in Chaville.